Hey, Ethan, what are you doing? I'm fiddling around with this flashlight. Hey, what do you notice when I move it a bit further away? The spot gets bigger. What else? It gets dimmer. You got it. Hi, I'm Ethan. I'm Amelia. And we're with Purdue Physics and Astronomy. We're going to do an experiment to measure how the brightness of a light source changes the further away it is. We're basing our experiment on the observation that the brightness of a beam of light is related to the area illuminated, which we can measure by counting the number of squares. Two things to keep in mind. One, you want to use a mag light with a regular incandescent bulb, not an LED. And two, you want to measure the height, total height of the torch from the base of the table. The distance from the table to the center of the bulb is exactly 16 and a half centimeters. For our experiment, you're going to need a mini mag light, a letter-sized paper with a one centimeter square hole cut, a piece of cardboard with a larger square hole cut, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, a pen, a light grid, and a funky flashlight holder. We'll show you how to make this in a minute. This is what the setup for our experiment will look like. We'll show you how to make the pieces and put them together. We'll draw a line to the center of the paper. This will help us locate where we'll make the hole for the mag light. We measure the height of our mag light to be 16 and a half centimeters. So draw a one centimeter square hole centered at 16 and a half centimeters from the base of our paper. Our next step will be to cut out this square. We'll lay our paper over a piece of cardboard the same size. From here, we'll cut out our one centimeter square. Following the pattern of cutting a hole out in the paper, we did something similar with the cardboard, only this hole is slightly larger. We'll use the cardboard as a support for the paper. Let's take a second piece of paper and make a holder for the mag light. We'll start by drawing a line across the paper, five centimeters or two inches from the long edge. Then we'll cut the strip. We'll fold the strip in half. You'll want to draw a line two centimeters from the open end and three centimeters from the closed end. Staple along the two lines. Once you do that, you'll have two flaps to tape down and a pocket for the mag light. We'll center the mag light holder on the line, about midway between the base and the hole. Grab some tape and tape down the flaps. We're almost ready to start. Place the mag light in the pocket and rest it in the base. When we're ready to start taking data, one thing to keep in mind is that the distance between the light source and the opening is 10 centimeters. Now let's turn out the lights and see how many squares are illuminated from this distance. To complete this experiment, you're going to take data on distance and number of squares illuminated. Well, that wraps up our experiment for measuring the relationship between brightness and distance of a light source. In the written lesson, you'll find instructions for graphing and analyzing your data. Good luck. And have fun.